that is what we are going to achieve at the end of this video so we will start by making our bead matting so i'll pick four beads and cross the fourth one this part is speed up because i mean be doing bead matting is something that everyone should be able to do if you are still a beginner and haven't mastered it you can check up my videos i have so many videos particularly on the bead matting so you can check it out so here i have my so i will do the tenth one to ten okay so this is the tenth one i'm doing so you will turn with that one and then you start the second line so we're doing 10 by 24 okay we're doing 10 by 24 so here i'm doing the second line like i said you can check up my bead matching detailed tutorial I will leave the link in the description box so you can check it out. Yes, yeah, so that is basically what this part is about. Okay, so I'm about to end the second line. I'll pick two beads, fix it on the left thread, you cross the second bead, and you repeat that to start a new line. Pick three, fix two on one side, and then you cross the third bead. And that is basically what you need to build this matting. Okay. So I have my 10 by 24. So this part is 10. And then the longest part is 24. Okay. So I have my 10 by 24. So now let's proceed with the circular size. Okay, what is the most important thing? If you do, you are not able to achieve this one, you won't get that shape. Okay, so I will start by picking six beads. So I'll fix all the five on one side of the thread. And then I will go ahead to cause the sixth bead. Okay. So next I will pick five beads. So I'll be entering with my right thread and then fixing the beads on the left thread. Note that, okay. So I'll pick five put four on the left thread and then I'll cause the fifth bead. Pardon me for the noise in the background. I was supposed to post this video about three days ago but I couldn't find a silent environment to do it but I still had to. So pardon me for that. So next I will enter the next bead on my right. Remember we are entering the beads with our right thread. So I'll pick four, three on the left side and then we'll cause the fourth bead okay so here we are making rings of six so this very step that we entered one and then picked four we are going to repeat that four and so we've done one so we need three more times of it okay so you enter one like this and then i will pick four and then cause the fourth bead so you will need to do repeat this step two more times okay So after you've done the fourth one, you enter the next two beads, okay, to close that circle or that round. 
so like you seen I have entered two beats and then I'll pick three you see by entering two beats we have three on it so I'll pick three to make it six and this round will be complete now to start the next line you enter the next beat this very one with your right thread and then you pick four beats okay to make a ring of six so you fix the ring on the left side and then you cross the third sorry the fourth beat okay and then next you enter the next beat on your right and then you pick the ring so this round we are going to be making rings of six and five in tens okay so here i pick three to make that circle five because the first one we made was six okay so I will enter the next two beats and then i will have three beats on the thread and so to make that circle six i will need three more beats which is what i have picked and then i'll cross the third beat so we will have ring of six we have five and then this one six so the next one x five the next ring that we're going to do is five okay so i'll enter one beat and then pick three like it's shown in the video so you continue with that you see we have six five six five so you continue with that to get here so here i'm going to make a ring of six right now because the last one i made i i made five so here is going to be six okay so here we have six here six here so the middle one should be five and then i will enter the next two beats and then we'll pick two beats to make it five okay and this is all we need for the sides okay this is all we need so you need two of this okay so this is it so next thing is to attach it to our mountain okay so we like i said the longest part is 24 so i will leave one at the end uh, one at each end okay so that will create a space for us so with the normal method of joining two pieces together i'll use the same method okay so i picked one bead with my thread enter one bead from the white piece and then picked another bead to cross it okay so it's not anything difficult as you're watching you will understand so we just continue to watch it as i close no as i join these two pieces together okay so if you watch that um bead martin video in the description box i have this method in it okay so you understand it better how you are going to join two pieces together so continue watching this part okay and then when you get to the next thing as designing the bag really well i will come back with my commentary okay So this is the outcome, this is how it will look after joining it, okay. So I'll just go ahead and join the other side. Like I said, you will need two pieces of the circle side. So I will join the other one to this side, okay. So we'll get this side closed. And here it is, all done. And then it looks nice like this without the fringes that we are going to do it looks nice with that one so this part 
is um, how to build that upper part okay you can hold it as a handle so you just have to do two so we left one at each end so you do one line to where to make it to and then you join it to the main body of the bag it's not anything difficult here i joined it together whilst i was doing it so if you watch it carefully you will understand how i did it instead of doing another line of uh, 12 i just joined it together i don't know what whether what i'm saying makes sense but if you watch it carefully you understand what i'm doing and this is how you build that side okay yeah it's not anything difficult just watch it carefully and you'll get it so i've been attending to so many of you on whatsapp and i love that okay so i will understand that if i'm addressing the right people okay so you can keep what's happening with your concerns if you have any difficulties doing any design you can just let me know and then i will help you out okay those of you who have sent me messages and have not yet replied do not worry i will attend to you okay so just continue watch this part and then the next thing that we'll have to do will be the fringes i mean attaching it to it and there, there are so many ways to do that so when we get to the river we will surely cross it so this is how it looked after i was done with that and i attached my magnetic button the bag is spacious okay so you can either line it or put in a pouch inside and these are the fringes i was talking about so i just had to the bag was big enough so if I was to wrap the beads around it, it's going to use up so many beads. So I had to come up with a new way of doing that. And that is my own design. I mean, yeah, get to play with your work, okay? So I did this. So it's not anything difficult attaching the fringes or the beads. I don't know why I'm calling it fringes, but I don't know whether it's also the right way the right name for it but you can correct me in the comment section while you subscribe you comment you like and share subscribing is very important because once i'm back i'm back for sure i have so many stuffs in store for you so subscribe so that you don't miss any of those good stuffs okay now if you want to sign up for my membership membership on youtube Send me a message on WhatsApp and I will make it available to you. Right now, I haven't made it public because um, of one or two reasons. But if you want to be part of my membership, join my membership, you can chat me up on WhatsApp and then I will give you the link to do that, okay? Please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, okay? Yes. Mm -hmm. So doing the fringes is nothing difficult, you just have to find your way through the beat. So this one I was picking 15 beads and then I will skip the last one, enter, go back through the 14 beads and that is it. You continue watching one so because at this point I thought if I explain it might get you confused so if you watch it carefully you will surely understand what I'm doing and it is the most important thing to do is to watch carefully if you have questions you let me know in the comment section i will address it for you okay
So in attaching the fringes, you get to play with it. Anyhow you want to do it, it's up to you. So all my beaded bags are up for wholesale, okay, both local and international. Just contact me with my number in the description box, okay. See you in my next video and thank you all so much for staying with me. Bye-bye.